Hello and welcome to the next in my series of growing your own dye plants. If you're new here my name is Becca and I'm a hand spinner, knitter and natural dyer and you're very welcome to my conservatory at my house in West Wales. I would take you out into the garden but it is absolutely blowing a hoolie as one of my favourite words blown a hoolie. Uh, it's about 40 mile an hour gusty winds so I will show you outside but I can't talk over it because you just will not hear what I'm saying. It is so windy. So, so far I have chosen my seeds, I sowed my seeds and we've got germination and they're now ready to either go out into the garden or to be potted up. So I'm going to show you what's ready to go out into the garden and then come in here and uh, we'll do some potting up. So we have our little seed trays of plants that are ready to be potted up. We have Dyer's Chamomile, and that's Devil's Bit Scabious, and not very many of those have germinated. We've only got three, so I'm probably going to leave those until there are a few more germinated. This is the Woad, which has germinated brilliantly, and this is the Weld. And as predicted, nothing has happened to the Madder, so I think I might have to buy some roots of that. So I'm going to get myself set up and get all these little beauties potted up. My first job is to plant out the calendula or pot marigolds and they've been hardening off for about 10 days and they're ready to go into the ground. So I'm just doing a quick bit of weeding, making sure that they're going into a weed free area to give them the best chance of growing away. Calendula are a hardy annual, which means they're only going to last a year. So these plants that I'm planting out are going to grow in the ground, send up a flower, we're going to pick the flower. If we let it go to seed, we would then have to collect the seed to get a plant the next year because they would die over winter. They do really well in a free draining soil, which we have here in Pembrokeshire in abundance, a little bit too free draining and they are very good at self-seeding so I'm fairly confident that once I've planted these I'm going to have a lifetime supply of calendula in my garden and it's also great for not just dyeing with but putting in homemade cosmetics and it's a great colourful cottage garden plant so even if you don't want to make anything out of it it's very pretty and it's an excellent bee plant. So I'm just watering the little plants in and hopefully they're going to grow away well. I'm now turning my attention to the Dyer's Chamomile and I'm just giving it a quick water so it's going to come out of the pots more easily. I probably should have potted this up a little sooner. So I'm filling mini pots with a koi based general purpose compost or multi-purpose potting compost and these little pots are going to be its home for not that long. Now, I have got a little tool to do this because the roots are quite entwined and I'm actually going to take these out in clumps rather than individual plants because these are going to be eventually planted into a sunny bank where they should do very well. Camoile is a perennial, which means that it lasts for several years it grows in the summer then dies back in the winter and then comes back again the next spring and these should enjoy the Pembrokeshire soil as much as the marigolds or calendula will because they like something free draining they are a herb and so they really appreciate a bit of sharp drainage so they should do really well here I'm hoping for a yellow, which I'm going to get from the flowers. And yellow is very useful as it's a primary colour. You can use it to over dye other things to create other colours. And in particular, it's good to over dye maybe something that's dyed blue because then you get a really good green. It's surprisingly difficult to get a good green with natural dyes. So it's a very useful technique and I'm certainly looking forward to experimenting with these and they should come into flower this year so I should be able to do some dyeing with these and 
Once they're potted up, I'm going to leave them outside in the sunshine so they can start hardening off. And I will bring them in at night as it's still quite chilly at night and they have been inside for the whole time they've been growing. My next seedlings are Weld and they are going into individual pots because they're going to stay in these pots for a lot longer. Weld is a biennial, meaning that it lives for two years, but it's not until the second year that it produces flowers and you get the dye that you want from the flowers. I estimate these are going to be in the pots for about six weeks and once they're big enough I'm going to plant them in the wild area in our garden and hopefully they're going to come back next year with the flower spikes that I will be able to harvest to create yellow. I'm planning to plant these in our wildlife garden and the soil there is very poor but it should suit these plants very well. I noticed a few years ago when there was some development in Fishguard, which is the other side of the bay from us, that there were weld plants growing where the old soil had been disturbed, had clearly been in the seed bank for many years. We are in the heart of the old woolen industry here and definitely they were left over from when natural dyeing was an important part of the local economy. I think there is a strong possibility that these will self-seed as well, but I will also be collecting the seeds and growing them from seed to keep the supply going as the plants only live for two years. So there are all my plant babies happily potted out and I'm going to water those and leave them out in the sunshine and then bring them in before the end of the day. If you're very observant, you'll have noticed I didn't pot up the woad and I'm actually going to plant those straight from the seed trays into their final growing positions. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and give it a like and a thumbs up. I'm always happy to answer questions, so if you've got any, please put them in the comments below. So until next time, thanks for watching.